Her ink and wash technique is very popular amongst urban sketches. It is the combination of ink lines and watercolour washes over the lines. If you'd like to know more about the pens used to produce these lines, this video is for you. Well, the pen is an important component of the ink and wash technique. If you're urban sketching, there are some things that you may need to take note of. Number one, uh, the price. So firstly, the pen that you're using should not be too expensive. Reason being, because you're out there, you're on plein air, you're at a different location, sometimes you may be at a busy street, sometimes you may be in some kind of forest or some kind of garden, and you may, you may lose your pen and you do not want to lose a $200 pen, right? So we try to keep the cost like below $30. I think that is something that is uh, fairly uh, reasonable. The second point is about portability. So how uh, portable is the pen? That's a very weird question, right? But I have a reason because most of the pens come with a clip. Those I consider them as uh, fairly portable because you can clip it on somewhere, let's say um, side of your bag or on your shirt while you're doing other things so that you don't lose the pen. Um, and there are certain pens that you can't, you can't post. So um, for example, um, the, the, the bag may be a different shape or it may be too big for the, the cap to be posted. And it, they, it's possible to lose it because you, you have to put it elsewhere. And when you're using the pen, you are not using the cap. It can, get, it can, it can just roll off and you cannot find your, your cap. And you can't cap your pen. So that's something that I think you should take note of. Uh, try to bring something that can post, that you can post it, or, or bring a pen with a, with a clip so then you can actually clip the whole pen somewhere when you're not using it and you wouldn't lose it. And the third point is that if you're using the pen for an ink and wash technique, meaning you start the ink uh, in paper first and then you put the watercolour wash on top, you got to make sure that you use a waterproof or water resistant ink because otherwise when the watercolour goes in, all your ink is it's all gone. Like all, it will all dissolve and you become a, like a black ink drawing painting instead. Point number four is the archival quality of the ink that's in a pen. This point is applicable if let's say you are or intending to sell your sketch. Uh, because we know there are certain pens or certain ink that are water resistant, for example ballpoint, but there's no information about the archival quality, whether it's able to last, uh, whether it's, it will not fade, uh, you know, upon um, UV uh, rays or putting it over in, in the sun. So uh, there are certain pens um, and there are certain inks that actually have this kind of quality being uh, you know, stated. And, and that would be important because when you're selling something to someone, you want to make sure that what you sell to them uh, would last. So that's, that's a fourth consideration. And when we consider all the four points, I would suggest two types of pen. One is a technical pen. Two, fountain pen that's below $30. So what is a technical drawing pen? Here's a technical pen from Sakura Pigment Micron. This one makes lines of 0.45mm. The tips of the pens ranges from 0.03mm to 1.5mm and each tip produces a line of a single width. It is completely waterproof and the ink is archival as seen by the logo. The pen has a needle point tip and is suitable for drawing along straight edges and makes perfectly straight, dark lines. That's exactly the same width every time. It is a disposable pen, meaning you will need to buy a new pen when the ink is used up. This is a fountain pen from Lamy. Fountain pen is a nib pen that contains an internal reservoir of liquid ink. Here's the nib which will contact the paper. There are various nib sizes and types and they allow the user to make interesting lines. This is a fine nib. The pen deposits ink onto paper by drawing ink from the reservoir through the feet. You can fill the reservoir, which is the converter in this case, with your favourite waterproof archival ink via the use of an eyedropper or syringe. Some other pens use other methods of filling. It's possible to use pre-filled ink cartridges in some cases. Let's go to Overjoy, a local art supply store, to check out their selection of pens for urban sketching. First up are the technical pens from Shinhan Touch Liner. Look, they come in so many colours.
Other than the standard nib sizes, they also come in a brush tip. This Moloto black liner has a chisel tip. These disposable technical pens cost between $2 to $3. Next up, fountain pens. Let's start with the cheapest. The Pilot Petite one costs only $2.40 and they use a proprietary ink cartridge. And unfortunately, the ink is not waterproof. Not to worry, you can always use waterproof ink in it by converting it into an eyedropper pen or reusing the ink cartridge. More on that in future videos. Next up is the Preppy Fountain Pen from Platinum. It is a sub $10 pen. There is also Plessier from Platinum, which is slightly more expensive. There is also the new Pre Fonte from Platinum, which is below $15. Kakuno from Pilot is slightly pricier. They come in various nib sizes such as extra fine, fine and medium. So far the nib shape of these fountain pens are round. Let's check out other nib shapes. Here are the Sailor fountain pens with Fude nibs. Fude pens are used for calligraphy and this costs about $17. There are also Fude pens made by Jing Tao and Hero or Ying Xiong Bi, and these are Chinese fountain pen manufacturers. And at the Twispy section, you can see the 1.1mm stub nib pens at the back. If you're interested in flex nib, you can consider the Creeper from Noodles. Um, it is below $30. Other than the Pilot Petite one, you should be able to find a converter for all these fountain pens and use your own waterproof inks. Wow, look at all these ink. No, you can't use them. Unfortunately, most of these inks are not waterproof. Here are some waterproof inks like the Artist Ink from the Atramentis, Sketch Ink from Roller and Klinger. Platinum Pigment Ink and the Document Ink from the Atramentis. You can find a huge range of waterproof, bulletproof ink from Noodles. And here are the more convenient ink cartridges. Do look out for waterproofness before you buy them. So in today's video, uh, I have shared what you should look out for when you buy a pen for urban sketching. Share with me in the comment section down below, what pen do you use for urban sketching? I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel, okay? So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!